the Octonauts and the Seahorse Tail. These night missions are tough, Captain. We've been working so late, it's just about morning. At least all's well in the ocean. <sighs> It'll be great to get back to the Octopod and get some sleep. Aye. What's wrong? Hmm? Nothing. If nothing's wrong, why do you keep growling like that? Huh? Oh, <laughs> that's not me. It's my belly. I guess I'm hungry. Hmm. Come to think of it. My belly's feeling a bit empty, too. How about you, Peso? Are you hungry? <coughs> There's a monkey? Where? <laughs> no monkey, Peso. We're all just tired and hungry. I see a nice seagrass meadow coming up. What do you say we stop there and have some breakfast? Ah, yes, please. I'm so glad Tunip packed all this food for us. Me, too. I'm starving now. Oh, kelp cakes, me favourite. Yeah, licorice flavoured, me least favourite. I can never get these thingies to work. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm. Strawberry jam flavoured kelp. Now that's more like it. I'll be having some of that too, please, Peso. <gasps> Look over there. Seahorses. What in the seven seas? Look at those two. They're dancing like some crazy underwater merry-go-round. I've never seen anything like it. Let's investigate. <clears throat> um, excuse me, seahorses. We couldn't help but notice your amazing dance. Oh, thanks, man. It's a seahorse thing. We do a special dance of love. And change colors to show how much we like each other. Yeah, I'm Sonny, and this is Janice. We are the Octonauts. I'm Captain Barnacles, and this is Quasi and Peso. Good to meet you, Sonny and Janice. Isn't she wonderful? One look and I knew she was the one for me. Oh, Sonny, you're so sweet. They certainly look happy together. Captain, they, um... Seem kind of busy with their dance and everything. Hmm. Let's uh, head back to the octopod. Bye, Janice and Sonny. So long, man. Be happy. How much further, Captain? Not too far. The water is getting a bit rough, though. Octopod to Gap A, come in, please. We read you, Dashy. Is everything okay? There's a big storm heading this way, Captain. Suggest you return to the Octopod as soon as possible. Thanks, Dashy. We're on our way back right now. Barnacle's out. A fast. Look at the fishies, mates. They're all heading for cover. Whenever a storm approaches, fish know to head for deeper water. It's much safer down below. We'll do the same. Sweet octopod. This storm could last a while. It's a big one, Captain. Mm. Huh? Oh. Look, it's Janice. She's in trouble. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our seahorse friend Janice is lost in the storm. We're going out to save her. Guppies all powered up and ready to go, Cap. Peso, Quasi, into the guppe. Yow! Tweak, open the octahatch. Right away, Cap. Hold on, Octonauts. This could get bumpy. Lappity flippers, you're enjoying this, aren't you, Quasi? Aye! There'll be nothing like an ocean storm to make a pirate feel alive! 
Keep your eyes peeled for Janice. Don't see her anywhere. There she be! Holding on by her tail! <laughs> Get as close to her as I can, and then Quasi, you... Quasi! You! I'm coming, me hearty! Gotcha! I'll get the water tank ready for Janice, Captain. Good thinking, Peso. Thanks for saving me. How'd you get dragged out into this storm, matey? The water just swept me away. Seahorses aren't very good swimmers. We pretty much go where the water takes us. You can come back to the octopod and rest until the storm is over. But we need to find Sonny. The water pulled him away too, and I'm really worried. He's about to have our babies. In that case, we'd best find him before he wanted to say. Sonny is about to give birth to our babies. I only hope he's okay. But Daddy's don't have babies. Mums do. I mean, I mean, don't they? Not when you're a seahorse. Daddy seahorses carry babies in a special pouch until they're ready to be born. Well, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. Janice, on my honour as an octonaut, we'll find Sonny and make sure he's safe and sound. Barnacles to Shellington and Dashy. Here, Captain. Go ahead, Captain. We need to find out which way the storm is headed and fast because a seahorse has been swept along with it. Ah, uh, sir, leave it to us. Got it! Captain, the storm is moving over the reef and then past some big rock formations. We'll send you a map of it right now. Good work, Octonauts. We'll search the reef first. See him? Ah, not yet. We'll check the rocks next. Look out! <laughs> what if we can't find him? Don't worry, we won't give up. We still need to search that kelp forest up ahead. We don't want to get the guppe stuck in this kelp, so we'll get out and search for Sonny. Sonny! Are you here, matey? Sonny! Sonny! Hmm, at least the storm is finally calming down. But where's Sonny? I guess we'll never find him. Ah, look! A seahorse! Excuse me, are you Janice? Who, me? No, I'm Quasi, and, and I'm not a seahorse, I'm a... I'm Janice. Janice, thank goodness you found us. Sunny is about to give birth. You're just in time. Oh, where is he? Please take us to him now. I'm a medic, I can help. Over there, near that seaweed. Sunny. Congratulations, Janice. It's a boy. And a girl. Oh, my. And another girl. And a boy. And a boy. And another girl. And a boy. And another girl. Hey, Janice. Sunny, I'm so glad I found you. Janice, you're safe. Meet the children. Our children are so beautiful. How can we ever, ever thank you? Oh, it was nothing. <laughs> All in the line of duty. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're so adorable. <laughs> what are their names again? Well, that little guy is Barney, short for Barnacles. And that really handsome Dipper is Quasi. And that one's Peso. And that there's his sister, Quasetta. Oh, she's a fire.